Hi viewers, welcome to Blood Test. This is Dr. Lalita Sindhil and we have been talking about laboratory business. A lot of you have been constantly asking us how to set up a small laboratory. What are the investments needed? In India, if you see, there are a lot of franchisee options by the corporates. You take, you know, you get all these franchisees which are collection centers in which you don't run the samples at all. It is just collection centers. You get it from around 1 to 3, 3.5 lakhs. Even, you know, all very big brands, they give even a franchisee for around 3 lakhs. So this is what uh, you get in India. If you want to establish your own laboratory, you can do it in around 5 lakhs, 8 lakhs or even 10 lakhs. I would ideally suggest you that you have an investment of around 10 lakhs which will cover up all the investments for setting up a laboratory which is functional where you run the samples. So like if you take a franchise, why should we you know uh, set up a laboratory in 10 lakhs? So what is the benefit of it? When you have a franchise, you're just building another brand. You're just helping him bring his brand but when you're going to run your own setup it means you are building a brand in your locality you're becoming famous in your locality and the profits it is you cannot imagine what you get when you are going to run your own laboratory with a good amount of caseload come let's go and see how we are going to do that in a 10 lakh of budget investment let's see how we are going to put a 10 lakh of budget into a practical working solution and setting up your laboratory so the first one uh, when you come to setting up a 10 lakh model the space required is around 200 to 250 square feet of space so if you have found out this space next comes the investment for the space so a space investment you're going to either rent or lease so when you're going to rent or lease this space the amount you would be investing as a one-time investment giving advance or leasing it would be on a maximum of around 1.5 lakhs so we'll not come on to the monthly rent you're going to pay we'll just have the initial investment what you're going to have that is 1.5 lakhs so this 250 square feet of space if you're going to do interiors in India it is nothing less than 1 lakh which you have to keep as a budget because like uh, you want to create a reception area you want to create a phlebotomy area and a main running laboratory so everything of this you will be needing a funding of about 1 lakh to be set for that so once you have done that you have to you know uh, build your brand so for that you need you know the LED boards you need to you know design your brand and for this you have to keep an investment of around 50,000 rupees because you know a small LED board even you know a 5 by 5 LED board good you know bright colors with the designing would be costing you around 35 to 40,000 rupees so you have to set around around 50,000 rupees for that and next one you're going to come to the licensing so the healthcare licensing for such a laboratory a small to mid-sized laboratory would be costing you around again another 50,000 rupees so the total investment from this is going to be around 3.5 lakhs so this is what is a very practical investment or budget is needed setting up a laboratory a small to mid-sized laboratory in India going on to the next part so we have spent now 3.5 lakhs from the 10 lakhs so the remaining you have is 6.5 lakhs in the 6.5 lakhs the first one you're going to spend on the second part is you have to reserve a sum of 1.5 lakhs for the next six months you would be getting a good turnover but still on the safer hand for giving the rent for buying extra things for your laboratory and for giving the salaries it is always good you have a reserve of 1.5 lakhs so that now comes to around 5 lakhs which you have in hand in this 5 lakhs you have to set aside 1 lakh rupees for the initial basic the chair table the consumables the microscope the incubator and all this initial setup you know you have to set aside an amount of around 1 lakh which will include you know all the basic facilities the phlebotomy chair you know uh, the lighting uh, the syringes everything everything all these consumables and everything you can constrain it to 1 lakh and you can set your laboratory all this done you would be having 4 lakhs in hand for investment into meshes now you have 4 lakhs in hand for the mission investment so what are the types of mission you can install in this four lakhs and the first one i would suggest is a three-part cell counter along with a semi-automated biochemistry 
or else you can go in for a semi-automated biochemistry with a ECG. Next thing is a, you can have a semi-automated biochemistry along with the point of care missions. These are just examples what I am giving you which you can accommodate in a 4 lakh of budget in which you would be running most of the samples in your laboratory. So this ECG, if you are going to incorporate an ECG, you are going to have something others don't have in your uh, place where you know you, they do just the blood and urine samples. So like you can mix and match and you can and get two to three machines in which you can run the daily samples of your laboratory. So this is how you can set up your laboratory in 10 lakhs in these seven to eight steps. So the first initial four steps are just for the establishment that is priorly just seeing the place, getting the licenses, doing the interiors. The second part is reserving your amount for the next six months and the next one is the next one lakh we would be spending for you know the initial setup, the consumables, the microscope, the centrifuge what all is necessary for the running of the center basic requirements and now coming to the last part that is the third part which I have explained is the machines what all in which all way you can incorporate for your laboratory this is the topic we have discussed today if you have any doubts if you want our guidance in setting up your own diagnostic center anywhere in India we are there to help you out through our blood test consultancy you can always mail it as pathlabstartup at gmail.com or you can directly whatsapp us at the below mentioned number in the description if you like my videos kindly like my video subscribe my channel and also share my videos to whoever wants to start up a laboratory or who wants to you know uh, go to the next level in the laboratory business if anybody is stuck in a laboratory business they don't know how to proceed they want some guidance to go to the next level we are also running growth programs for laboratory owners this is dr lalita sindal signing off see you with tomorrow with another video